Welcome to Digital Softics. Uh, in this session, we are going to explain about a kernel. So, what is kernel in operating system? Uh, kernel is one of the most important part of operating system, and it works as an interface between application and the component of hardware. So, let's move on and find out today's agenda. So, what is kernel in operating system? A structure of kernel in operating system and function of a kernel in operating system. So, so in this picture you can see that we have a software and we have a kernel and we have a hardware. So, kernel work is an interface between software and hardware. So, it is one of the most important because it bridge the it is the bridge amongst the software and hardware and it combining the these two things with the help of some kind of functionally provided to the software and hardware. So, what is kernel? The kernel is the core of an operating system. The kernel provides the most basic interface between the computer itself and the rest of operating system. The kernel also called nucleus of operating system is the set of primitive facilities over which the rest of operating system is built. The kernel is responsible for the management of central processing unit called CPU. A kernel provides an environment to build an operating system in which the designer has considerable flexibility. So, you can say that the operating system is totally dependent on the kernel and the operating system is reside on the kernel. So, kernel provides basic functionality such as the management of memory, space, everything that is important to the software and hardware and the operating system reside on the kernel itself. So, half of its kernel provide functionality, half of it is reserved by the operating system. So, kernel is the core of an operating system. Uh, you can say kernel is an operating system, but we the kernel provide the basic functionality and manage the different uh, uh, resources of computer hardware. So, the kernel is responsible for the management of CPU central processing unit where we have uh, uh, management of processes. So, so, what are the different functions of kernel? So, after the funct functionality of a kernel, uh, you will be able to see what are the responsibilities of a kernel. So, the main functions of kernel are as follows. Uh, number one, a kernel provide a mechanism for creation and deletion of a process. So, process is one of the most important uh, part of operating system and there is a managed by the operating system we call them process management. So, kernel provides a mechanism that how we can create process and how we can delete process. So, it is a very basic process of, a, of computer system or function of a computer system. Number second is it provides CPU scheduling, memory management and device management for these processes. So, kernel deal with the creation of process and deletion of process and it manage CPU scheduling. It manage that which process will execute it, which process will wait and which process will end. So, we they provide memory to that process and device management for these process such as uh, input devices. So, which process use a keyboard, which process use uh, the uh, speaker and everything that is input output devices and other devices or device drivers. So, it is managed by the kernel. So, kernel manage CPU scheduling and memory management and device management, ma the devices which are connected to the computer system. So, number 3 is kernel provides synchronization tools to that process can synchronize their actions. Synchroni synchronization means something happens simultaneously. So, when we can, we can see that during a process during process 1 and process 2, there is a very little space. So, kernel manage these spaces and provide tool to synchronize the processes. So, when uh, simultaneous processes are executed, so we can say that a computer is efficient, computer is working with according to the user. So, kernel manage these synchronization tools that process can synchronize their actions such as different actions provided by a different process like playing a video or printing some kind of documents by the world. So, these are synchronized processes. As process adds among the execution of process such as playing a video 
and printing a document is a two process so kernel manage these two which are different processes and kernel manage itself the process printing of device printing of papers and playing a videos so these are different processes but kernel manage these things with the help of management with the help of process management and a process have a lot of actions such as printing a document changing in the document so are these actions were managed by the kernel so number four one it it provide communication tool so though so that process can communicate with each other very important uh, like uh, if we have a command in action in during the processes so different processes can communicate it with each other like printing a document and editing a document is a very uh, a, a small process but kernel manage these things and kernel manage a word document playing a videos everything their actions are managed so when we have a communication among processes so kernel manage these things so these are the main functionality of a kernel kernel provide mechanism for creation and deletion of process cpu scheduling memory management device management a uh, kernel provides synchronization tool to the process and it provide communication among the different process so when the process are communicating so they will execute in the special sequence so these are the very important functions of kernel hope you understand this thing so this is the kernel diagram so we have applications we have kernel and we have devices so it is a bridge among the software and among the hardware so kernel manage devices and kernel manage at itself the operating system Uh, and the management of different things such as process management memory management and uh, process communication so these all these things are managed by the kernel so we have the windows architecture you can see we have the application we have windows api user mode drivers so there's other kernel mode drivers so this is the kernel mode so kernel contain a lot of things it contain the export driver support routines and they have operating system kernel so look at that kernel is here kernel is the core of operating system we have file system we have hardware we have hardware abstraction layer and we have a hardware so kernel is a bridge among the applications and among the drivers hardware so these are the functions and these are the main uh, area where the the kernel is reside so it is the nucleus of operating system it is a simple picture of a windows architecture you can see different kind of functionality applications window apis and exporter driver support routines we have a hardware abstraction layer and hardware so these pictures are taken to just a, a clear view of where the kernel is reside in operating system so we have a kernel architecture we have number one micro kernels in computer science a micro kernel often called abbreviated as a sigma kernel is the near minimum amount of software that can provide the mechanism need to implement an operating system so implementation of operating system is done by the kernel so there is the micro kernel micro kernel is one of the most important part of kernel so these mechanism include low level address space management thread management and inter process management called it ipc so in computer science we can see that the minimum amount of software that provide the mechanism need to implement operating system so implementation of operating system is done by the kernel and there is important part of kernel called micro kernel and they have mechanism such as um, memory address space management thread management so these are the important functionality provided by the micro kernel to implement operating system on the hardwares so components of micro kernel so a micro kernel compresses only the core functionality of system a component is included in the micro kernel only if putting it outside will interrupt with the functionality of other system of the systems all other essential components should put in a user mode so let's see the functionalities memory management mechanism like address spaces should be included in the micro kernel it uh, also contain memory protection features uh, process scheduling mechanism should contain process and thread schedulers and enter process ipc communication manage the server that run on their address space so these are the very important functionality of micro kernel and this is the this is the component of a micro kernel and you can see the functionalities of micro kernel so we have the advantages of micro kernel 
So, advantages of microkernel. Uh, here are the pros and benefits of using uh, microkernel. Microkernel architecture is small and isolated, therefore, it can function better. Microkernels are the secure because only those components are included that disrupt the functionality of the system otherwise. So, the expansion of the system is more accessible, so it can be added to the system application without disturbing the kernel. So, microkernels are modular and the different modules can replace, reload, modify without even touching the kernel. So, the benefits of kernel is that that architecture is small and it is isolated. So, it does not disturb the operating system or the other important part of kernel where the operating system is reside. So, micro kernel are secure because only those components are included which that disturb the functionality. So, the expansion of a system is more accessible. So, expanding the system is very basic. So, expansion is done by the micro kernel. So, due to the micro kernel advantage we can expand our system without disturbing the kernel. So, micro kernel modular or a different modules can be replaced, reloaded and interrupted without uh, disturbing or touching the kernel. So, this is the functionality of micro kernel to code it not uh, disturb the kernel and expand their functionality, accessibility and uh, uh, different modular replace, replacement. So, these are the functions of uh, micro kernel. So, we have a, what is monolithic kernel? Monolithic kernel runs all the basic system services like process management, memory management, IO communication and interrupt handling, file system, etc. in kernel space. So, micro kernel works as the residation of operating system such as the accessibility expansion and everything that is. Now, the, the different uh, management is done by the monolithic kernel. So, monolithic kernel runs the basic system service like process management, memory management, IO communications and we had discussed earlier the kernel manage all these things. So, the, the part of a kernel which manage these uh, processes and memories are the monolithic kernel. So, monolithic kernel manage memory management and to input output communication and interrupt handling. Uh, the file system. So, all these things are included in the operating system which is controlled by the monolithic kernel. And this type of kernel approach the entire operating system run as a single program in kernel mode. The operating system is written as a collection of procedures that are linked together into a large executable binary program. It is a very important concept here, we have point points here. So, in this type of kernel approach the entire system run as a single program like uh, in kernel mode. So, operating system is written as a collection of procedures. Now, the operator, what is an operating system? Now, as we done, as we move on forward, we can understand the basic definition of a operating system. Here, we have the operating system is written as a collection of procedures. So, you can say when somebody asks you what is an operating system, so you can say that the operating system is written as the collection of procedures that are linked together into a large executable binary program. So, so, these are the thing the monolithic kernel manage the basic processes and the basic functionality of operating system and management is the responsibility of kernel and there is monolithic kernel the important part of a kernel. So, memory management I communication interrupt everything is managed by the kernel. So, is it it is all about the kernel we have uh, the the kernel type, the structure of a kernel, the function of a kernel. So, these all these things are the kernel such as process management, uh, operating system residation, memory management, device management, everything is done by the kernel and we have a micro kernel and a monolithic kernel. So, if you have any question related to this uh, session, you can ask from me in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.